So good morning everyone. It is with great pleasure that I extend a warm welcome to all of you to the Masterclass series. We are honored to have a truly remarkable individual with us today as our guest speaker. So without further ado, it is my distinct privilege to introduce Ms. Nupur R. Chablani. Ms. Chablani is a highly experienced communications professional with over 20 years of expertise in integrated marketing communications. She is specialized in internal and external communication and is best known for her strategy planning system, design skills for improving marketing performance. She has completed her marketing in the digital world from University of Illinois. She is skilled in managing administrative and operational aspects of corporate communications, helping organizations enhance their reputation through effective communication strategies. Passionate about girls' education rights, Ms. Chablani co-founded Women in Aviation Inter uh, International. This organization focuses on promoting careers for girls in the aviation industry. Currently, she serves as a vice president business of Marcom Consulting, where she continues to demonstrate her strategic abilities. In her previous role as general manager at the Bird Group, she managed various communication tasks such as marketing campaigns, brand management, advertising, and event planning. With a strong educational background, Ms. Chaplani's diverse expertise shines through her career and contributions to the field. Now, I would like to request Ms. Nupur Chaplani to please join me on stage and take the session further. Ma'am, please. A big round of applause for her, please. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How many of you have not had breakfast in the morning? This is a very good thing. I asked you one last attempt. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. At least that I know that I would be able to invoke some kind of inquisitiveness from all of you. How many of you knew that I'm coming today? Ek haat dikha. Okay. Okay, can you stand up? That gentleman over there in the blue shirt. Yeah. You raise your hand that you knew that I was coming. Right? How did you come to know about it? Instagram. You'd have to be a little louder. It was in the mail. Nay, okay. So my name was written and uh, how many of you made an effort to find out what do I do? None of you made an effort? This is the first thing that I want to point out. Today you kids are living in an era where everything is on a digital platform. I have a LinkedIn profile, my education, where I'm working right now, some awards that I've won, some articles that I've written, my interests. Even if you go and search on other social media platforms, you'll also come to know what kind of books do I read, what kind of TV shows that I want to watch. Is this information available? Yes or no? Is this information available? I think you guys should have utilized 15 or 20 minutes, found out about what do I do, where do I come from. Maybe right now I'm sure most of you do not understand what PR is. Is there anybody who has the faintest idea what PR is? 
Da. Ie do sa cum ai but what is it beyond that? How is it useful for you? How can it be useful for this university? How can it be useful for tomorrow when you go and work somewhere? How is it useful there? Perfect answer. Can I see who this was? Can we get a round of applause for this boy, please? please know the basic thing and the most important thing that I want to speak to you all, you kids today, is managing your image. Thank you. Managing your image, I do it as a profession, I get paid for it. Why is it important for you guys? You are going to start your career now. Very soon you'll finish your studies from here. Go and work in any organization. And the first thing they will do when they'll call you for an interview is apart from the CV that you'll send them, is go back and do a research for you. Find out your digital footprint. Do you know what digital footprint is? Today you go and like something on Instagram, somebody's picture, you leave a comment, you go on Instagram, sorry, you go on LinkedIn, you add something on it, you like something someone has written. This is all your digital footprint. It also carries the pictures that you put. You're partying somewhere. You're dancing somewhere. This entire world is your digital footprint, which today everybody can have access to. Everybody who has slightest of knowledge of how to use these tools can also take out things which you probably edited, which you probably deleted. You guys have to be very careful as to what you put in out there for you. I'll start, I'll give you a little background about myself, I will not bore you about it, and I do not want this session to be only a one-sided session, please. It's a big audience, most of you have good breakfast. Ask me questions. I'm not sure whether how many of you would actually go back and choose a profession in communication or PR, leave that aside. But in today's world, PR is useful everywhere. Whether you take it as a profession, whether you don't take it as a profession. It's important that you know the final nuances of how to manage your image, how is it useful, and it's good that you get a head start <coughs> from right now. Any of you were there in the last session that I took? No, this fact is completely different. Okay, so you guys have not seen this movie that I made. I want you to just have a look at this movie, grasp it, and I'll ask you some questions.
would they be doing? Can anybody explain it to me? Yeah. They will showcase the university's achievements, events, special speakers, VIPs and facilities that college provides, placement stats that improve the image of the university. And yeah. So you started talking with the tactical approach towards the objective that you want to do, you want to project what the university is offering, what people are coming, what awards it's won, so that we have a good image of the university, correct? In, in my way, when I get down to strategy, I do the first, have you, do you guys know what SWOT analysis is? How many of you use it also? Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. So when I'm called for a pitch in any organization, we go and they give us a problem statement. Hamari ye dikkat hai. Hame ye problem ho rahi hai. Hamari competition zada famous hai. Hamara product fail ho gaya market pe. Acha nahi tha. Ab hum kya kare? We cannot shut shop. But we need to have a strategy in place. How to overcome all of this. What you said was a tactical approach and you came to the objective later. We first start with a strategy, we then come to a plan and then how to implement it. So for North Cap, first thing would be to highlight and understand who are the stakeholders. Industry people, okay, uh, other universities to know future parents and children who would invest and put in money and admission over here. So just your approach is not only to highlight only the awards in the university fraternity, but it also focuses on how to get fresh new children who want to utilize this university in the best possible manner. How will you do it? by talking about the courses that you had, talking about the children who passed out from here who are in the alumni circle, where are they right now, the awards and recognition that the university has got, the competent staff that they are hiring, the best in the industry, and I think it over here. Okay, now let me just ask you, how many of you know who Salman Khan is? Put a figure like Salman Khan. That's it? Okay, if you can, everybody who knows Salman Khan is stand up. Who heard of his name? Who's seen his movies? No one. I thought that the whole world of stand up to Salman Khan. Most of you know about it. How many of 
Can you read about it today somewhere? Yes. Where? Archive.org. Instagram means archive.org. Sorry, I can't hear you. Archive.org. Is it available? Yeah. Can you check now? Yes, check now. Can you check the black box case and his name is there and the drunk driving case and the Ashwara Rai? <laughs> <laughs> and everything else? Can you, can you, how prominent is it? When you go and do a Google search for Salman Khan, can anybody just in the front row, pick up a phone, go and do a Google search, just type Salman Khan and tell me the first two, three links that are coming. I just want to know the first two, three links. It might be Salman Khan. Salman Khan. Salman Khan. Salman Khan. What is the economic science facing? Wikipedia, I don't believe in Wikipedia. I hope you guys know that it's a tool that anybody can go edit it, upload it and change it. So never ever rely on any information from Wikipedia. Yeah? Thank you, Vinayana. Kya hai, Salman Khan ke kare mein? So we are not really hearing about the Ashwabha case, we are not really reading about the black case, we are not really reading about the drunk driving. But yes, if you go and search being human, you know what being human is? It's a brand. Who created it? Why did it create it? Because it was a strategy. Somebody like me who would have caught, who would have got paid tons and tons of money came up with this kind of a strategy that to get out of all this bad publicity, we need to focus the attention towards something good that he's doing. They came up with a campaign for this being human. They donate money to underprivileged children, for children who need medical support. They sell merchandise for it, t-shirts, what is that blue colored bracelet. It's become a brand. But what was the reason to do it? it was to deflect the unwanted attention that he was getting to the bad publicity. Do you guys understand how important and how tactfully his image has been maneuvered over here? Okay. I want to ask you how many of you eat Maggi? Jhoot mat ko log. Sab ne khaya hoga. Sab ne bachpan se khaya hoga. Mummy ne mana bhi kiya hoga ki kuch nahi hai Maggi mein. Lekin sab ne khaya hai. I also fight with my son. Almost every second day he eats Maggi. And he thinks it's nutritious. It's too many of the khana. Okay. What was the controversy that happened with Maggi? Lead. Is it good for our body? What did Nestle do after that? They got, in, got into a cycle of spreading awareness about how Maggi does not have lead in it. How it is not harming your body. How? It is still a two-minute snack, jhatpat khana. It might not be nutritious, but it is definitely not harming your body, which the lead component was signifying that it is not good. This, again, is what I call in my industry crisis management. Okay, what did they do? They identified the crisis that was happening. क्या हो रहा था? Lead के content ज़्यादा हो रहा था, sales drop हो रही थी. They were not making any money. How did they want to spread awareness about it? By talking that one, it is not poisonous. It is definitely they cannot use the word nutritious with it, but it is not harming your body. This is a typical case of crisis management. In an organization, 
I don't know what plans all of you have, but most of the big organizations have something called as the communication department. How many of you know about it? How many of you have parents or somebody that you know, sister, you know, somebody acquaintance working in the communication department? No one? Okay. So what does a person who works in a communication department do exactly? Any idea? Okay. There are many things to communication. I will only concentrate on the field that I represent. You've seen advertisements, Magikai ad app, newspaper ad app, television ad app. That's one stream of communication which comes in the marketing. Right? There would be another vertical under communication would be PR. That handled the crisis management that I just spoke to you about. Right? How many of you were aware of Nano? Kya hua Nano gari ka? Fail ho gai? Kyun fail ho gai? So Nano was India's cheapest car. Who was backing it? Tata. Biggest, biggest conglomerate in India. Yet, that product failed in the market. They tried their best. They tried their best to be able to sell it, to be able to keep it in the market. But they failed. Because the product itself had defects. It was too light. It was too risky, safety standards were very poor. However much PR they tried to do, to talk about it, that no, it's not that unsafe, it fits in your budget. They tried to deflect it from safety angle towards the price portion of the car, India's most affordable car, yet it failed. However, push, PR push, it would have got, because the product was very bad. I want to take another example of an automobile industry and I want to ask you, how many of you know about this accident that had happened in, on the uh, Bombay Pune Highway? Anybody knows about it? Please tell me. Cyrus Mystery case. Cyrus Mystery case of Tata Children. Yes. That Mercedes he was driving. So there was a woman driver, she was driving the car and he was sitting on the side. They hit a curb on the Bombay Pune Highway. It was a which car was it? Mercedes. Mercedes, one of the most expensive cars. And which one? I don't know the model. I only know Mercedes. I'm not into cars. They died on the spot. What happened after this? Can anybody guess? Things came down. Questions on safety came up for the car. It came in the body, the kind of airbags, the support that they have. Yet, people died on the spot, right? Safety standards came in question. The second thing that happened was women driver. The perception that everybody had, women drivers are not safe drivers. You know, there was rather this lady, this curve that she hit and she died, she was advocating for it to put a stop sign or the signage for it for years that this is a dangerous curve and if you take it, it it's an accident prone area and she died. What came up out of this was safety standards, women drivers, Mercedes is not a safe car. So the entire automobile industry went into a frenzy on safety standards. I had a lot of automobile clients at that point of time and we were just and just handling safety related queries and questions from the journalists. I used to do Audi, I used to do Skoda at that point of time. The whole point, the whole attention was just put on the safety standards. 
And then as to how women are women drivers safe or not safe? Do girls drive? No? Would you be driving tomorrow? Can you can you generalize it by saying that women are not safe drivers? Who says this? That's another that's another perception that they were tackling. That they cannot come under the stereotype. They went into a crisis management mode again. They started talking about, most of the automobile companies started talking about the safety standard that each of the vehicles have. Government is also, the policy, it reached a level of policy change. Right now, front to speed, it well is compulsory, right? It went into the fact that the rest of the passengers who are sitting at the back of the car also need to compulsory wear seat belts. That's a kind of a policy change also that this kind of an accident has got. I want, I've spoken enough. Can anybody ask me some question? I don't want to be standing over here and just talking, talking, talking. Anybody has a question, something? Yeah. What kind of work do you do in your department? What kind of work do I do? Yeah. Very nice question. So, do you want to know my day-to-day -day routine with any organization? So, I handle the PR for organization. So, what does that mean? That means that periodically I make sure that my client is spoken about in the best possible manner in the circles that he desires for. It can be, for example, uh, I have a client, it's an air conditioning client. So the industry for me is heating, ventilating, air conditioning. So I make sure that he remains at the top of that industry. You know, he's spoken about in the most positive way. Uh, during peak summer time, because of this positive publicity, he has great sales. I also focus on about how, if he's earning X amount of money, is he diverting the CSR funds in the right way? You know what CSR funds are? CSR funds, Corporate Social Responsibility. So each of the organization, if they hit a mark of profit revenue, they have to take out a percentage from it and put it into CSR, which is Corporate Social Responsibility, which typically means that you're giving back to the society. So for this client of mine that I work for, they put it back for skill development. You guys understand what skill development is? Yes, ma'am. You're the only one who's answering questions. I want others to also answer. No one knows what skill development is? No, it is not problem solving skills. No, this is also not soft skills and hard skills. So, uh, you have an AC at home. If it's bad, who comes to it? Electrician comes to it? Or you call the representative of the company? If you call the for example, LG ka AC is bad, you call the technician of LG? What is the technician of the skill set? India has not reached a level right now where this level of technicians are also qualified. So this is where skill development comes in, that they are properly trained, they have the knowledge. Most of the time, when you have an electrician, you get 50% of it, and you get 50% of it. And you get it right away. After 10 days, you get a little problem, and then you get it right away, and then you get it right away. So, to overcome this entire cycle, the skill development is focused on. So, for your question, that the boy over there would ask me, what do I do? I take care of spreading positive news about how they are utilizing this money for the CSR aspect as well. Now, let me also ask you, how many of you know of Princess Diana? Good. Last time I came, the class didn't know who Princess Diana was. I was very disappointed. Who is Charles? Now King. Who is Camilla? 
His second wife. Now, second wife of King Charles. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have read a book called Spare. It's written by the second son of Prince Charles. He's called himself Spare because the first one was not a spare. He's in line of his heir. He is in line of the throne. So when Charles passes on, he will become the king. So the second son is called the spare. And clearly in his book, he writes, I don't know how many of you are passionate about reading, but if you can read this book, it says that as soon as his mom died, Princess Diana died, the whole office, the system, the royal family, <clears throat> Charles PR team got into the mode of image management for Camilla. She was the other woman. Princess Diana was the queen. She died. The next thing that Charles wanted was the perception of Camilla improves and so subsequently he can marry her. It was not allowed to divorce in the royal family. It was not allowed that they could go for a second marriage. Everything has been possible now. And how has that been possible? They worked on it for many years. They worked on the image that Camilla had. Right now, she's the queen. And there's only a certain section of the British people who do not take her as a queen, who remember only Princess Diana, and who remember this, that she was the other woman. But most of the world does not remember it. How has this happened? Again, a planned, systematic way of improving Camilla's image. Right? Anything else anybody else wants to ask? Any other question?
how is it going to add any value to me? I do this every six months and I come up with a strategy post that. I recommend doing it professionally and I recommend doing it on your personal level also. You'll be much happier if you start doing it for your personal life as well. Where you stand, what are your weaknesses, learn from it. How do most of the people get jobs? Anybody knows? Aapki kal education khata ho jati hai. Aap log ka teen saal ka course hai yaha pe? Paanch saal ka. Paanch saal ka. So that's a graduation plus a masters? Four years. You plan to study after that also? You do? Okay. Imagine you've done everything. You enter the job market. How would you get a job? What are your basic methods that you will apply for finding a job? Skills, okay. Good answer. Would you like that you would probably say, ma'am, I'll take my guitar and I'll sing the song and I'll do the interviewer with my... Like, good, good, good. But it's an important thing that you talk about if you're a musician. If you write songs, you sing it, upload your videos, talk about it. Nobody wants a person who's boring, who's away, calm, calm, chill, chill. They want people who are holistic. Nobody wants a person who's boring, who comes to the office, finishes his work, goes back. And he only talks about work, 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 work. LinkedIn, there was a study. They say that if there is an ad for a job on LinkedIn, first of all, after my class today, take out at least an hour, go and make your LinkedIn account. You're late anyway. You should have started in school. Spend one hour, go and research as to what is important. We put, don't put random things on LinkedIn also. Be very careful. Read about it what is important to be put and start making a LinkedIn profile. If you're finishing the course, put about it. If you, you put up some music, talk about your music. Show that you're not really passionate about education. So I was telling you that LinkedIn, when they put up ad, and the recruiter, uh, you know how much time does a recruiter spend on seeing that CV? Second. How much? Two seconds. Two seconds, right. And who has this kind of attention span? A goldfish. A goldfish has a two second to three second attention span. A recruiter who is finding a right candidate on LinkedIn spends exact same amount of time. How do you stand out in that two seconds? Koi ne padega aapke skill set kya hai? Aapne education kahan se ki? You just start understanding what are the basic necessities for the job. What are the keywords? Us job ke kya keywords hai? But aapke CV ne wo reflect ho hai ki aapke Then only your CV will be selected and you will be called for ahead. Going back to making yourself as a brand. Start treating yourself as a brand. Focus on your own personal development. Be careful about what you're posting on social media. You go out for parties, put good pictures. Not pictures that you will feel ashamed of when you look at them five or three years down the line. Because by the time most of the world would have seen it, and most of the world would have had a perception about you that this guy is like this. First impressions matter. Start taking care of yourself, not only in terms of your studies, your image. Take care of what you're wearing also. A neat, clean, hygienic person. I'm not saying that you need to go and invest in fancy clothes or expensive gadgets or But you should be presentable. You should look like as if you made an effort 
to look good today for the person who is sitting there. Research. Today, you guys failed in my eyes because none of you knew me. None of you went back, took out two minutes also to read about my LinkedIn profile. Came to bed here that if she is coming, I could have asked her this question. You will not make an effort. You will not get these kind of opportunities later on in your life. Do not go unprepared. How many of you read newspapers? This is very scary. Like I think two to three percent of this all reads. How do you get to know about what's happening in the world? Yeah, yeah. Internet. Internet with the fake news we are in. Then how do you see that this is relevant? This is fake. Do not give up on this habit of reading a newspaper. Today, I'm standing here and it will feel as if, oh, she's so boring. She's asking us to do such boring stuff as reading a newspaper. Mark my words. If you start reading, that is the only thing that will get you places later on in your life. Read anything and everything. Read a newspaper, read a magazine, read any novel, any kind of writer, any kind of article. It will help you. Yes? Which newspaper do you take? Which newspaper do you take? Which newspaper do you take? Where do you take? Tell me. I am telling you, I will tell you, I will tell you, you read Times of India, read Hindustan Times, read Economic Times, please do not pick up those smaller, nothing against them, they are regional papers or they are local news, but do not go ahead and read. मैम टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया ने अभी दो दिन पहले ही गलत ही उसका पीती है। शापिंग की उसका क्या हुआ उसके बाद? इसमें विराट कोहली ने स्टोरी लगाई थी जिसकी। विराट कोहली सोचा उसके बाद क्या हुआ उसका? मैं अपॉलिजाइज। मैं अपॉलिजाइज। चलो गलत तो शापिंग ना। गलती तो सबसे होती है। the other newspaper would be filled with by with these fake news. I hope you've understood the gist of it that I'm trying to say is that we, if you guys follow and only pick up the bits of news from your Instagram, from from internet, pick up news from credible sources. Anything else anybody wants to ask? Can we please have a little silence? I have a mic, he does not have a mic. He needs to get a little attention, please, people. Yeah. When does a product become a brand and when do we realize that we have become one? Very good question. When does a product become a brand? Anybody have an answer for it? Can I, can you stand up again? Okay. You wearing a t-shirt? What brand is it? Reebok. Why didn't you pick up a normal t-shirt and you only preferred to wear a Reebok t-shirt? It was cooler, it, the color matched, it, 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 it probably matched with your fashion sensibilities. A product becomes a brand when they start reaching out to the target audience. Who's the target audience? You. You identified it? I have to wear this Reebok t-shirt. Maybe you get it in 300 rupees. You get it in 15 rupees. It won't be a lot of clothes, but it's a logo that you have to wear. When you understand your target audience and you start speaking the language that they want to hear, you become a brand.
Now for, for your next part of the question that you asked me was how do you become a brand when you know it? I would say that you should never know that you become a brand. Why is that? Because then you get into this thing of your mind that you know that you have become something. You should always be in the scope that I'm always growing and always learning. The day you feel, oh, I've become a brand, I'm Tim Cook, I'm Astro What I'm trying to say is that always be in that learning mode that I have to better myself, I have to become something, keep on reading, keep on uh, exploring and do, do this twice a year SWOT analysis for yourself, for your personal life and for your professional life. It will really, really help you all. Anything else? Otherwise, I'm finished.